Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. So I had fun making this ESP32 multitasking is it possible video and I got a couple of cool comments on it. Thanks for uh, that and always feel free to leave a comment down below. But Jeannie, a friend of the channel here, came up with an interesting way to demonstrate multitasking on the M5 stack Atom matrix using microblocks much like I was doing. And the biggest thing is that you can have multiple win started blocks within the same program. So you can have two or more win started things. And if we look at the definition of multitasking, that was what some of the comments came down to. The definition of multitasking is the computer is just executing two or more different tasks at the same time. We're going to explore this again in both micro blocks and we're also going to try it out in Arduino here. I've loaded up the M5 stack libraries for Arduino and this particular Arduino example it creates these three separate tasks and then it's going to send the output of each of these tasks out to the console. When we look at these separate tasks they all are defined to go to core zero they're assigned a task priority and they're actually given some program space essentially. For all the work and worry I found this incredibly boring. In fact, let's just skip to the results right here and this is what it looks like. So within this multitask Arduino sketch for the M5 stack, it does appear to be multitasking. Each of these tasks is updating its own runtime and then displaying it in the console. But I still want something a little more visually graphic. So we're going to go back to microblocks. Okay, so here in microblocks, I'm trying to recreate what Jeannie was talking about. You have multiple win started blocks within the program, each with its own forever loop. And then each one is going to turn on a column in the display. And each of these is going to display that column for a different period of time. And I was hoping that we would see more than one column light up, but unfortunately when the second display command is fired, it blanks out the first one. So even though all of these tasks are running at the same time, it doesn't appear the way I wanted it to appear. I thought that I could get it all lit up, each column lit from one of the tasks. So I wasn't quite able to successfully demonstrate what Jeannie was talking about. But I took the cue in the next comment where she was talking about event driven. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so let's talk through this example. You see here I have three separate blocks. One of them has a when started and a forever loop. Then I have when go is received, there's a loop five times. And when stop is received, there's a loop five times. So the main block of code calls the go or stop block of code, which executes while the main block of code is counting that five seconds. Then the block of code that got called, whether it was go or stop, blanks the display and the main block of code counts down four, three, two, one, with a second in between each. So there's 10 seconds executed in the main block of code while the other block of code, the stop or go block of code that's called is five seconds each. So you can see the main block of code is counting that five seconds while the go and stop blocks of code are executing and then it's executing its own countdown, four, three, two, one, and calling stop or go after it counts down. Well, I hope you enjoyed this additional demonstration of multitasking on the ESP32 board using microblocks and the M5 stack atom matrix. Again, I'm interested in continuing this conversation about multitasking on the ESP32 board using microblocks and the atom matrix. So leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Thank you very much. So make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much.
Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.